Welcome to another edition of Getting Squared Away, Military Bearing for the Public Health Service Officer. I'm Lieutenant Commander Van Meer and I have two special guests with me today. Uh, our topic today will be about coming to attention. So before we do that, let me let, I'll have our guests introduce themselves. We'll start with Captain Kerensky and PFC Heldon. And they're going to help us show what coming to attention means. So if I was just to ask you, what does it mean to come to attention? Attention is the stance that shows that you are ready and able for duty. Okay, and it's a basic uniform service courtesy, and in any case, again, we're ready for duty. Okay, when should we be at attention? Um, there can be different variations of time, sir. There can be uh, when an officer, higher ranking officer enters a room. It can be um, when you come up to, again, uh, when you're lower ranking and you, um, it's a formal way of speaking to the, the senior. So when are some other times that somebody might come to attention? So some other times that you would go to attention is when a senior officer enters into a room, uh, when the national anthem is being played. Okay. So now I think what might be an example of is if we can show the differences of what that looks like. Okay. So if somebody was to say, uh, come to attention, what would you guys do? Okay. And if we were to say, at ease. And then the next command we could get would be, as you were. So as you were, you would return back to kind of what you were doing before. Yes, sir. So if, let's say Captain Kerensky walks into the room and you're there, what would your natural reaction be to do? Well, if there's other people in the room, I would say room attention, and then everybody would go to attention to recognize that he's entered the room. Okay, and you stand at attention until he? Says, as you were. Yep, as you were, sir. As you were, okay. And also, when we're talking to a superior officer, what do we usually do? You speak to them at the position of attention to show respect. Okay. So if I walk into the room, since I'm an 04, you're a Captain 03 Army, you would come to? Attention, sir. Okay. And then I would talk to you, and then I could say at ease? Yes, sir. Or as you were. Yep. Okay. Correct, uh, sir. We can also call people to attention if, for instance, if you're walking on post and somebody doesn't, uh, a junior doesn't salute you, you can actually walk up to them and put them in attention and you can explain to them that you are a United States Public Health Service officer and that uh, you are required to salute us. Uh, we, will, we will cover saluting in one of our next episodes so people have a clearer understanding of that. Okay. Anything else we need to know about attention? Um, <clears throat> I don't think, sir. I think uh, just the other one is, again, when a senior officer comes into a room, it's uh, important to recognize that they're um, their rank and their, what they've done. And so, again, you would call the room to attention as well, sir. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, what we usually say is we say attention on deck. All will stand if the junior, and if you're a junior officer who is the first to see a superior officer walking in, you may say something like, ladies and gentlemen, the Surgeon General, upon entering the room, the senior officer will say, as you were, the room will be called to attention once the officer departs. So if you're ever acting as an aide de camp to a higher ranking officer and you walk them into a room, you notice they are the highest ranking officer there. You will call the room to attention. Thanks, we'll see you next time.